Hi there, hi there, this is Prophet Pastor and I greet you all again in the name of Jesus. I'm coming to you again with another revelatory and a prophetic message that's going to transform you and it's going to bless you. I'm speaking right now with something that's happening in the news. As I speak, as I speak right now, it's in the news. I'm speaking about this issue about Prophet Shepard Bushiri and Julius Malema. And the issue is something that is making people to think differently about the prophetic, about what is happening in the prophetic. Now, before I even go to this message and I, and I start to talk about some of the things that are happening, I just want to start by thanking some of my sons and my daughters that have been, I mean, I've got hundreds of them and, and hundreds and hundreds. And every day I can't even count the messages I get. I get messages everywhere. And if you have not gotten that book, Prophecy, Dreams and Visions, it's time for you to get that book to understand the things of the prophet, the things of the prophetic, to start interpreting dreams, to start being able to understand the things of dreams. Because if you cannot interpret your dreams, you are lost. You are a lost person. Dreams are very important. And there's no law against dreaming. There's no country that's got the law against dreaming. So the moment you have a dream, you need to get that dream interpreted. I'm speaking right now of a revelation that the Lord has given me and He's telling me, He's showing me some of the things that are going to soon happen. And it's important that you get that dream interpreted because the Lord is showing me things that's going to happen and some of the believers in Christ are going to receive this, this particular grace to interpret dreams. And um, it's important that you have that revelation. Prophecy, dreams and vision, that book is important. I want to speak to some of my sons. Now, those of you that want to become a son of the or the daughter of a prophet is very easy get that book prophecy dreams and visions the moment you get that book you automatically become a son it, it graduates you to become a son of a prophet it graduates you to become a son of a daughter of the prophet of a modern day prophet i'm not i'm not a bible prophet i'm a modern day prophet a modern day prophet is different from a bible day prophet a modern day prophet deals with the things of the day we talk about the things that are happening today and now things that are affecting you right now and the mind of God concerning those things. As I look, I look at what I call the eyes of the scorpion. And many people have asked me, how do I get the eyes of the scorpion? Get that book, Prophecy, Dreams, and Vision. You understand the eyes of the scorpion. The eyes of the scorpions are the eyes that see in the dark. As I'm speaking, I can see in the dark. And some people write to me, and somebody writes to me, and says, prophesy to me, speak to me, speak a word to me, and just give them a word of knowledge. I give them a word of knowledge. I remember a man came to me and told me, this prophet, prophesy to me, speak to me, and ask, who was born in 1972 and the man was shocked he said prophet i was born in 1972 i said that man that was born in 1972 i've got a prophetic message for him that's how we speak when we talk about the modern day prophet a modern day prophet looks at your problem now and provides a solution now what is going to happen today what is going to happen is going to change you we are not bible day prophet bible day prophet talks about the things of this past some talks about the things of obadiah talks about the things of hezekiah People that don't people don't want to hear about Hezekiah or Badaya. They want to hear that in 2019, they want to know whether they're going to go to 2020. Now I see my son, I see my son's Tawanda. I'm just doing Tawanda. I see I see Fabiola, Fabiola, my daughter, Fabiola, Fabiola write to me. I see Selby, Selby, one of my daughters. I see I see Prophet uh, Wesley. I see Raif. I'm looking at Raif. Raif, that's one of my sons there. So this is my sons that are in India. Some of them are in the US. I see Salome. Salome is one of my daughters. She's in the US. Salome, I see Fisnas. Fisnas, one of my sons. He's in Congo. Fisnas, the Lord bless you, Fisnas. One of my sons. I see Dane. Dane is in the US. One of my sons in the US. Dane in the US. I see Riley. Riley is in the US. One of my daughters. I see, I see Nehita. Nahita is one of my daughters in the US. And I want to agree to Nahita. Those people that some of my sons, Isodo, Florence, I see Tumelo, I see so Tumelo, one of my sons in Jobek. I see Midret, I see Midret Kosi, one of my one of my daughters. One of my daughters here in, in Johannesburg. My goodness, I've got daughters all over the world. I see, I see a lot of them. I see, I see, I see a lot of my sons and daughters. Kelvin, I see, I see Eliza, I see Emilia, I see Anthony. I mean a lot of them, lots of them. I cannot even call them now. Those of you that want to join my sonship program to become one of my sons, one of my daughters, write to me at prophetpastorana gmail.com. The easiest way I told you is to get that book, Prophecy, Dreams, and Visions. It gives you access to the prophetic. It opens the door for you. And there are many people have written to me that, that I'm in mean the prophetic. I'm in mean the prophetic. I don't know what to do. I'm confused. My ministry is not growing. Let me tell you something. Your ministry is not growing because of the covering that you have. The kind of covering that you have determines the growth of your ministry. 
the kind of covering that you have to tell me how your marriage is going to function if you are sitting in a marriage where you don't understand what is going on your husband keeps coming late at night your husband keeps cheating your husband has got 10 different women you need to get that book prophecy dreams and vision to help you see the realm of the spirit i'm talking about the eyes of the scorpion when that eyes look it sees in the dark and i can tell you exactly what your husband is doing which woman your husband is with where your husband is sleeping how many girlfriends he has i speak that with the eyes of the prophet i see that that eyes of the scorpion is very powerful it sees in the dark the bible said there's nothing that will be done in the dark that will not be revealed in the night the, the day that's called the eyes of the prophet the scorpion the eyes of the scorpion is that bible verse that says nothing shall be done in the dark that will not be revealed in the day the light the eyes of the scorpion and bring it to the light get that book prophecy dreams and vision my goodness i'm getting messages now thousands of messages i want to speak about prophet shepherd bushiri and this thing that's happening with uh, julius malema and um, it's very unfortunate what is happening because it's not supposed to even happen but what is the story the story is that you see prophet shepherd bushiri prayed for one lady the lady is called my lady chiwa and the prophet prays for the lady in the ritual the lady specifically told the prophet that listen i want to become a leader and the prophet said, i'm going to pray for you to make you a leader and the prophet lay hands and pray for that lady and say i'll make you the leader of this nation and the lady falls under the power of the holy spirit and the lady falls under the power of the holy spirit within, within the space of a year that lady becomes a leader in the political party the lady was actually in the parliament of south africa she gave a speech as a member of parliament in the republic of south africa now there are now a video of certain eff members eff is a party that is called um economic freedom fighters and this this political party now we see some of the leaders during the elective conference kneeling down in front of their president and as they were kneeling down in front of their president their president became upset and instead of instead of telling them to stop kneeling down i think he went beyond just telling me that and he says i don't want you to kneel down but don't do what you are doing at prophet bushiri's church here now he called that name prophet bushiri's church and the reason that he called that name then people started linking prophet bushiri's church to that lady Naledi chiwa Naledi chiwa that lady is a fighter and i want to speak prophetically to that lady Naledi chiwa i see her becoming a great leader in this country not only the eff because i see her she's going to emerge as one of the voices that's going to speak power speak to power is going to make power to tremble and uh, and people are now saying that um is prophet bushiri is is, is jealous malema against the prophet now i want to first of all address this question because people have asked is, is jealous malema also an enemy of the prophet it's an enemy of the church it's an enemy of the things of of of, of christianity no jealous malema is not an enemy of the prophet the problem is the way he he, he put his thought through that way was incorrect by trying to link that to prophet shepherd bushiri now anybody can fall under the power of the holy ghost and where if you're in the presence of god you're in the presence of a meeting of a gathering where people are gathered about jesus anything can happen you can fall down you can jump you can sink you can run on the floor you can do things the things that are happening and are beyond anybody's control so falling down under the presence of of the holy spirit in in a gathering doesn't mean that you are worshiping the leader we worship jesus christ we don't worship the leader so it's not about worshiping a leader or worshiping the man of god it's about falling down into the presence of the holy spirit and we must worship the holy spirit when he shows up we must bow down the bible says that the mention of that name of jesus every knee shall bow it is a law it's a law that was given every knee shall bow of things of on earth of things on the earth and of things in heaven every tongue shall confess that jesus christ is lord it is a law so now this thing about people kneeling down in front of a leader nobody should kneel down in front of a political leader that's what is wrong and i think jesus malema is right to point that out to say don't kneel down in front of me i am not the holy spirit i'm not god so jesus malema is correct too so i'm not let me tell you i'm not on prophet bushiri's side i'm not on jesus malema's side i'm not a politician i'm not in the politics in the eff or whatever but what I see, I see the prophetic and I reveal the things of the prophetic. Write to me and I'll explain to you those things of the prophetic. How to see the things of the spirit. And I'm beginning to see things of the spirit to say, the Lord is showing me that the EFF is going to grow and become a strong party. But for the EFF to grow, there's a condition that God has given me. They must, they must start honoring the things of God. They must start honoring the things of God. Because I'm speaking prophetically now. 
And the things that's going to root that party and make that party to go to Shida honor him because I see an old woman that looks like Julius Malema's grandmother, who is one of the pillars behind that party. And this old mama, I see this old mama praying at midnight, praying early in the morning, praying in the evening. This old woman, I don't know who, what her name is, but I see that old mama look like a grandmother of Julius Malema praying at midnight. And that mama's prayer will answer through that child, through Julius Malema. So when you see Julius Malema speaking to you, think about that old mama that is praying. Because that prayer of that old mama, prophetically speaking, I'm looking at them with the spirit, that prayer, who promise was given to that mama. And that mama was told that one of his children who emerged to be the leader of this nation and one of his children would be a, a, a bright and morning star that will shine light to many and i'm speaking as i'm looking at that mama praying and i'm seeing that mama praying in dark corners and sometimes i'm seeing praying in a place where, like there's a pot and there's like firewood around that pot and there's charcoal burning and there's like wood around and the charcoal is burning and the pot was going up and the prayers were being answered using that smoke that was coming out of that of that pot get my book prophecy dreams and visions and see the things that are going to happen i've prophesied some of the things that are going to happen especially in this country prophesied some of the things that are going to happen in the election prophesied some of the things i prophesied about the victory of uh, of boris johnson in the uk check my prophecy prophesied some of the things in boris johnson i prophesied the leaders in the u.s i prophesied the election that is coming in 2020 it's not yet happening but it's going to happen in 2020 and i prophesied i was showing the people in the u.s and i've received a lot of counter messages people in the u.s writing to me and when i prophesied in the uk and I was saying Boris Johnson was going to win and people were writing to me. Some of them insulting me. I said, Prophet, how come you how dare you say Boris Johnson was going to win? He's not even living in the polls. He's not even having any any people don't even want him. People hate him. Matter of fact, he's almost like the enemy of the people. But that prophesied and I said, Boris Johnson is going to win. And what happened? He won with it in a landslide. Not even a small victory, a landslide victory. I'm speaking out of the US. People writing to me in the US. Some parachute says, Why do you say Donald Trump is going to win in the US? Because you don't see he's even going to be impeached. He's going to be impeached by next year. Before he even runs for president, there will be an impeachment. I say, I see him winning. I see Donald Trump winning. I'm not a fan of Donald Trump. I'm not a fan of you. Matter of fact, I don't live in the US. I don't even know what happens in the US on a daily basis. Now, I want to address this thing about people calling other people Papa and Mama. And, and some people are saying, Why are we calling some of the men of God Papa and Mama? Let me tell you something. You should do things the way the Spirit of God leads you. The Spirit of God leads you to become a son or a daughter of a prophet. Yes, son. Remember, to give birth, it means to transfer a DNA, transfer life to something. That's what birth means. The reason you are the son or the daughter of your father is because some, there's something about him that is in you that makes you a son or a daughter. Now, to be the son or a daughter of a prophet, there's something about that prophet that's in you. So if you identify with those prophets and you can attract some of the gifts of that prophet inside you, that makes you a son or a daughter of that prophet. So there's nothing wrong in calling somebody papa or mama. It's because you are saying there's a part of that man that is in me. I do things like him. I speak like him. I prophesy like him. Maybe I even, I even, I even, I even dress like him. I even, I even the way I behave, I act like him. I do the kind of things that he does. And I, I identify with him. That makes me a son or a daughter of a prophet. And some of my sons and my daughters are all over the world. They act like me. They prophesy like me. My goodness. So there's nothing wrong in calling somebody your, your father or your mother. There's a difference. It's an earthly father. Your earthly father gave you your flesh and your blood and your bones. Your spiritual father gave you the things of the spirit. Birth you in the spirit. You have the spiritual DNA of your spiritual father. My goodness. And there's some of the things that you see is common in Africa to find people calling having fathers and mothers, prophetic fathers, is because one of the main problems in Africa, especially here in South Africa, even in the US, one of the main problems is absentee fathers. So the people that are raised in homes with no fathers, many people, millions of people are raised in homes with no father where the father is missing. The father is missing in action. And if they don't have this earthly father, they have to link to a spiritual father. And linking to a spiritual father is not a problem. It's not a sin. It's not a crime to find the spiritual father. Say, I want to link with the spiritual father. And the people should stop all of these things of just criticizing for the sake of criticizing. As a body of Christ, we should work together. I see something that's going to happen. The church is coming together like never before. Things are going to happen when we come together and we stand as one and we stand against this enemy. And those of you that want to buy that book, you see my banking details on the side. You see, I'll put my banking details. And the, and the banking details are there. You, the moment you make that payment in the bank, if you're in South Africa, you make the payment in the bank, you get that book, Prophecy, Dreams, and Visions. If you're in the U.S., you can buy it using PayPal. You can buy it using PayPal if you're in the U.S. And some of you that are in in West, in in Southern Africa, you can buy using my banking details. You do that EFT payment. The e-book will be emailed to you, Prophecy, Dreams, and Visions. You open your eyes to the prophecy. It will make you begin to prophesy. You get up and you start prophesying. When you look at dreams, you interpret dreams better. 
and if you're in Cameroon, Cameroon, I see so many people writing me in Cameroon, and many people are writing me, say, what is going to happen in Cameroon? I've prophesied what is going to happen in Cameroon. Write to me. And those who want to pay in Cameroon, you can pay using um, something like call mobile money in Cameroon. Mobile money, you can pay using mobile money. The moment you pay using mobile money, it's going to that book that will be sent to you. And those in the US, in Jesus' name, amen.